when uh, dealing with no starts on uh, A3 Jettas with the 2 liters or even Gulfs with the 2 liter engine, the ABA engine, uh, vehicle cranks fine but doesn't start. A lot of people like to jump right to the distributor. Uh, on these models actually because there is an engine speed sensor down on the block, uh, the, the distributor is actually not required uh, to start the vehicle uh, in terms of a signal from the distributor. The actual distributor obviously mechanically needs to be there to distribute a spark but um, now with the engine running you can actually disconnect the distributor and the vehicle will still run. The computer only uses this signal to adjust timing. Um, so performance with the signal not uh, being generated either because of a faulty hall sensor in the distributor or when it's unplugged, the computer defaults to a pre-programmed ignition parameter. Uh, again, it'll start as well. You shut it off. The check engine light should actually be on right now which it is. Now we can start it. Vehicle starts fine even with the distributor disconnected. So on a no start what you want to do is basically check for spark first. Disconnect the center plug wire here from the distributor cap and you want to just hold it against or away from a, the, the valve cover stud here maybe an eighth of an inch then have somebody crank it if you get spark uh, then uh, you know the spark the ignition coil is okay what you want to do then is have somebody crank the engine while you check for spark on one of the other spark plug wires here like this if you still have spark uh, here then in all likelihood you will have spark at the in, at the spark plugs as well in which case it's not a spark problem it's most likely a fuel problem uh, fuel pump um, doubtful that all the injectors are plugged uh, so it's usually a plugged fuel filter or a bad fuel pump um, checking fuel pressure on these you would want to connect to the white hose here the blue the blue hose is the return so tapping into here to check your fuel pressure would be the next step if you're not getting any spark off of the center coil wire from the ignition coil what you want to do is disconnect the center terminal uh, check for power and ground across the two outer ones and then the inner one uh, is actually a signal wire from the control unit uh, what you want to do is attach a test light to battery positive attach it to the center one here and then while somebody's cranking you want to see that light flash. What the computer is doing it's providing ground for the power output stage of the ignition coil. Uh, so if the if the bulb or the test light is not blinking it's just steadily on or steadily off that's telling me or it should tell you that the computer is not grounding the coil to trigger the uh, spark from occurring in which case obviously more troubleshooting is involved if that is blinking and you have power on and ground on the outer two terminals when you're te testing across and the center terminal is blinking while cranking that means control of the ignition coil is present and most likely you have a bad coil and just in addition uh, if the center pin on the uh, three pin harness is not blinking when having a test light connected to it it could be, and while cranking, it could be that the crank sensor, crankshaft position sensor or engine speed sensor is faulty and not providing a signal to the computer and that's why the computer is not grounding the ignition coil.